Hey everyone, Belinda Goodrich, president of PM Learning Solutions, and I'm doing a series of videos on some um, pretty intense updates that are coming down from the Project Management Institute. So this is video number two, update number two, and this update relates to the Certified Associate in Project Management exam. I call it the CAPM exam. And PMI recently announced that they were doing some, some changes to, to quite a few things. Um, we talked in the previous video about the switch from Prometric to Pearson View. Well, they're also changing a few of the tests. So the Certified Associate in Project Management, the CAPM certification, is a certification for newer entry-level uh, project managers that don't meet the experience requirement for their project management professional, their PMP. The CAPM test is a test over the PMBOK guide. So it's a lot of definitions, terminology, those beautiful 49 processes, the inputs, tools, techniques, and outputs. So pretty uh, pretty intense test. I always tell people, you know, it's not necessarily easier than the PMP, it's different than the PMP. Still hard in its own way. So PMI has made some interesting changes. The first is, is that they've eliminated the experience and education requirement. So it used to be that you could do 1500 hours of being on project teams or and or the, the hours of project management education and they're waiving those. So literally, anybody is open to go take the Certified Associate in Project Management exam. Fantastic. Now, having said that, and admittedly with a bias, you probably need to do some prep, not necessarily have to take a class, you can certainly self-study, but just because they've eliminated the, the requirement for a class or for education, you still need to make sure you prep before going into that exam. The second big change is around the types of questions for the exam. So this is really interesting. They are, you will get 150 questions on the CAPM exam. They, at today, as of today, are multiple choice. A, B, C, D, you pick one, it's the right answer. Starting in September, and they have not given us a date in September, just in September, starting in September, it will be multiple choice, but also matching and multiple option questions. So matching, you know, maybe they say a process and want you to tell them what process group it's in or what knowledge area it's in, something like that. And then multiple option. Ooh, does anyone like these? That's where both A and B are correct, both C and D are correct. Now, thankfully, PMI is not being totally mean about this because they are actually going to let you know on those multiple option questions, how many options would be correct. Pick the three that are correct, pick the two that are correct. So yeah, probably not what some people wanna hear going into that exam, but it is, uh, like I say, at least they do let you know how many you should be selecting. So keep that in mind, those changes go into effect in September. And remember that we are no longer scheduling your tests at Prometric, but they are at Pearson View now. And the other interesting thing, and this has been a cool benefit for a little while now, is you can actually take your Certified Associate in Project Management exam at home, in your office, wherever you're comfortable. So they do an online proctored one now, so you don't even necessarily have to go to a Pearson View Test Center. So that's kind of cool. So those are the changes coming down. Of course, my team here at PM Learning Solutions is digging into these changes and we are modifying our courseware and all of our self-study materials, including our best-selling CAPM exam prep study guide. So we will make sure that we are ready to support you and serve you in your journey to get your CAPM. Of course, if you have any questions at any time, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're happy to assist. Good luck on your exam and let us know if you have any questions.